No captivity. Freezy. Freezy. What up? You are officially locked in to No Captivity with Freezy, where we tackle issues that sometimes have us trapped in this thing that we call life. But if you know me, you know my motto. To free yourself, you must heal yourself. Let me hear you say it. To free yourself, you must heal yourself. And if you're rock with your boy Freezy, please hit the like and subscribe button hard right now and also comment and share this video that is if you're rock with your boy freezy can you trust people with ego problems can you i'm saying no just because somebody got an ego problem does that necessarily mean that you can't rely on that person 100 percent in any circumstance well let's talk about it willie d and scarface got a fairly new podcast called ghetto boys reloaded no captivity and they just recently had an intense back and forth concerning Scarface performing at the Grammys for a hip hop 50th anniversary special. So yeah, Scarface performed by himself and uh, he really didn't think nothing of it. He just felt like he was representing for the Ghetto Boys. But Willie D had a totally different outlook than Scarface did and understandably so. But before we get into all of that, I'm going to give y'all a little background history on the Ghetto Boys. They one of the pioneers in Southern rap that emerged in the 1980s. The mid-1980s, if I'm not mistaken. And the group consisted of Bushwick Bill, Willie D, and Scarface, which is one of my favorite groups of all time, I might add. But in recent years, the Ghetto Boys lost Bushwick due to him being diagnosed with stage 4 pancreatic cancer. R.I.P. Bushwick. But nevertheless, the group was left with Scarface and Willie D. So without wasting no more time, we gonna head on over to the No Cap Room so I can show y'all this video I got queued up for y'all. Let us get it. In the studio, ghetto, ghetto, ghetto boys. Yo. <laughs> ghetto boys. Ghetto boys. Yeah. What's going on? Not ghetto boy. So right there, Willie D throws Scarface a little shot, letting him know he had a problem with him. It's the Ghetto Boys, not Ghetto Boy. This one here for the thug. Shit about to get real, y'all. Y'all lay around. Oh, Willie, you still on that shit. Yeah, yeah, I'm on that shit, man. Come on, you had an interesting weekend. Let's talk about it, man. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Well, I mean, shit, I got a, got a chance to go up and um, be a part of the 50 years of hip hop. Saw some of my classmates. That was about it. Nothing nothing too great. Nothing too great. But Okay, so right now he playing it down. Be a part of something that was um that that looked like a fad that that everybody thought was a fad to last for 50 years and then, you know, turn out a fucking award show. Like in my opinion, I think that that um performance, that segment of the show was unbelievable. So first it wasn't too great, now it's unbelievable. Which is it, Scarface? He already showing signs of being wishy-washy, not keeping it real. You feel me? So, elephant in the room. You already know. You feel like you were slighted. Slighted? Because, yeah. I feel beyond slighted. What I'm trying to figure out is, first of all, I ask you Wednesday when we left here, I said, what you got for the weekend? You say, I'm going to go fuck with this Grammy stack. I said, all right, man, safe travels. Cause you know, that's how we do it. Saturday come, I'm looking at the, um, I'm online and an article comes across about the Grammys. And I see Ghetto Boys' is Scarface in the line. Let me see that. I don't have it now. I, mean, I want to see where it says Ghetto Boys Scarface. No, it's. So y'all can see Scarface getting a little defensive. I'm pretty sure some of y'all done been through this little episode with somebody you know or close to. We all know how it go. They get defensive, and that's how the argument start. No, no, this is what I don't it said. I, 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 I don't want to never get Ghetto Boys and Scarface intertwined ever because I don't need Ghetto Boys to be Scarface. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So if it said Scarface, uh, Ghetto Boys, or Scarface, or any of that shit two together, then they wrong for that. Yeah. Because I can stand on my own two feet with no ghetto boys. Scarface ain't wasting no time. He just letting his ego show off top. 
And I'm going to tell you the truth. If I was Willie D, I would not like that. You already not trying to be understanding from the beginning. You're throwing your weight around, letting Willie D know you Scarface, and you're pretty much saying you damn near bigger than the ghetto boys. That Scarface hold that much weight, which I might concede to that. Scarface name pretty much went a longer distance than the ghetto boys did. I'm going I'm to go ahead and admit it. But, dog, I don't think this the time for you to be acting arrogant, dog. I don't think this the time. And this is why, so this is why what was so baffling, because everybody knows that, right? You carved out a place in history for yourself. You were so good at what you did as a solo artist. Yes. You get that. Can't nobody deny that. So ain't no hate, ain't no jealousy whatsoever. You know, remember, I'm the one that said, hey, man, you ought to call yourself Scarface. No cap. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I ain't going to never hate on you. Never. I mean, I've all, when I see you winning, I, I see Ghetto Boys winning because we are a group. And that's the way it should be. If you winning, we all winning. That's what you call a team player right there. You feel what I'm saying? That's what you call a team player, dog. I'm telling y'all, during this interview, it seemed like I got closer and closer to Willie D. Because that's me in a nutshell. That's exactly how I operate. If you winning, I'm winning. It's a team thing. So you ain't got to let me know how big you think your name is, bro. I'll celebrate you before you celebrate yourself, damn near. So when somebody say start talking about Scarface standing on his own, I said to myself, I said, well, Scarface got enough hit songs where he don't need to have a ghetto, be doing a, a Ghetto Boy song. He could have just done a Scarface song. If you would have done a Scarface song, that would have been different. A Scarface song is a Scarface song. That's on Scarface's catalog, not Ghetto Boy's catalog. And to do a song on the, that's from the Ghetto Boy's catalog, my mind's playing tricks, a song that I co-wrote, and to not have me included in that let's, moment. Let's, let's go back to... He didn't want to do a Scarface song. He really wanted to do My Mind's Playing Tricks song. You know why? Because that song is bigger than any Scarface song he ever made. That song is a classic. The biggest classic Scarface or the Ghetto Boys ever made. And I challenge anybody to prove me wrong. I challenge you. Leave it in the comment section. We're going to talk about this. How the song came about, too. Because you did have a, a, um, a verse on that record. Those three verses... We all know where those three verses and that music came from. You put another verse on it. But do you recall back when you heard that song and Jay was trying to get you to rap on that motherfucker that you didn't like it? Do you remember that? I don't know if I didn't like the song, but I didn't think it was anything phenomenal. What does that have to do with the T in China? This one here for the thug. Thug, 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 thug. Scarface, you reaching out, dog. So what if he ain't like the song 30 years ago? He did the song. He rapped on the song. What difference does it make? Bro, you're being petty, bro. I'm just keeping it 100. You're being petty as hell. The man did the damn song. Why are you even bringing that up? You just want to be right, bro. Okay, well, it's phenomenal. Yeah. And actually, now that I think about it, it's a lot of shit that I do that's phenomenal. And I think that the, 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 the reversal of trying to put that shit on me because you didn't go there to the Grammys is fucked up because my, my phone rang, okay? And if a motherfucker didn't reach out to you, it's not my fault. So don't put that shit on me, Willie. Wow. See, that's the type of shit that'll hurt me, man. Don't talk to me like that. Why are you talking to me like that? I'm trying to have a respectful conversation with you about how you disrespected me and you still disrespecting me. Scarface, I hate you showing this out of you, bro. Real talk. That's not cool. Okay. I'm not cool. And if I perform that song, I don't get mad when you go out and perform that song, bro. And I don't I wouldn't even give a fuck if you got the call. That's not that's not how I'm made. Like I don't care about that. Have you ever went out and performed my mind playing tricks somewhere before many without times. me? Many times. Okay, well me too. Right. Okay. Okay, so here's the difference. We're not talking about just performing. We're not just talking about performing a song anywhere, everywhere, like we all do. Every last one of us has done it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. We're not talking about that. We're talking about a moment in history, a 50-year tribute. No captivity. Come on, Scarface. Don't play crazy. You know what this is about. You know this is a once-in-a-lifetime moment. 50 years don't come around two times, three times. It only come around one time. The next 50 years, guess what? It's going to be 100 years. A moment that's, captured, a moment that's captured, capsulated in history. A moment that people ain't gonna never forget. Exactly. Come on, Scarface, you know what the hell we talking about, man. They ain't gonna never get this again. You patronizing this man like that. Come on, dog. Stand that it was short time. But here's where I'm at with that. For something like that, for you to sit across this table for me weekly and knowing that you finna go 
to the Grammys and perform that song. Let me knowing you going to the Grammys. Up time out. Okay. I didn't know I was gonna do that song. At what point did you did you know? When I got there. Okay. Okay. So all right. Okay. So you know you was, but you you didn't know you was gonna perform a mind's plan. I had no clue. But when you found out, did you did did you even think to say, man, this is a big moment? I'm performing the Ghetto Boys song, something that me and Willie D wrote. Yeah, I wrote three verses, but Will wrote one. He was on the song. Mm -hmm. You know what? I'm going to give Scarface the benefit of the doubt. I believe he didn't know he was going to perform that song until he got there. Because a lot of times, that's how those award shows work. They're impromptu. You don't know what's going on. You got to be ready to go. I get it. Scarface, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt, bro. But you do know that's neither here nor there. He is a Ghetto Boy. They want a Ghetto Boy song. Did you think for one moment to say, yo, Will... You know, even if even if time was running out on you, <clears throat> you didn't think for one moment to say, man, let me just at least call Willis and, and let him know what's going on. You could tell Willie D is having a hard time with this. This one here for the thug. I mean, I could see it in his eyes. It look glossy, man. I feel for him, though. It's almost like he can't believe it. He can't believe his homeboy did him like that. It ain't, it ain't cross your mind to say that? It didn't cross my mind, Willie. It didn't cross my mind. Hmm. I don't believe you. I don't believe you either, Scarface. No captivity. I don't believe your ass either. You can say what you want to say, but ain't no way in hell you gonna sit up here and try to make us believe you ain't know what the hell was going on. You don't believe shit. You don't no, believe, I'm just saying. You don't saying. believe I'm, that I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, man. You know? I, I I don't believe you, bro, because I know you smarter than that. Well, I didn't, I didn't think I know, about it. I know, I know, no. And it was, you it's, do a it's lot so of much, thinking, it's bro. So, it's you, so much you, shit going on. You do a on. lot of thinking. And it's so much shit. Let me tell you something, too. So you know, it's so much shit going on, Willie, until I don't know if you got the call or not. I don't know what's happening with you on your side of it. Come on, bro. I don't know I don't, you, I don't. know who handled you, your you, business. You, and you, as a matter of you fact. You know if the Grammys call about me when doing something for Ghetto Boy, I didn't, I'm going to call I didn't, you I didn't know. That, I didn't even know that the you, call was, I didn't even know that the call was for sure until that Wednesday, that day. You knew if I, I did not you, know. Listen, okay, I had let's no say clue. let's say you knew that day. And and here's the thing. Okay, now I, okay, time out. I know every motherfucking thing. Now, how does it change it? Wait, y'all do a podcast together. So y'all that divided well, you didn't think to call your homeboy that you do a podcast with? How in the hell you ain't think to pick up the phone and call Willie D and let him know, bro, this is what's going on. I'm letting you know they want me to do a Ghetto Boys tribute and they want me to do my mind's playing tricks on me. I'm just calling and let you know what's going on, bro. I ain't played like this. They did. How does it change? Yeah, it's over. Well, what, what, what? The it, motherfucker what? gave me, um, the, the, uh, whoever the producer was gave me four bars. It's, that's it. Well, it wasn't four bars. What was it? I think he did eight, but in, in, in any okay, event, in, in any event, that that's the the his. I mean, four measures, eight bars, okay, whatever it is. So how do, how how does it change? How does it? You said you said how does it change it? Yeah. How does it change anything that we talk about on a daily basis? Like we talk about a lot of shit, and how yeah. does just us so, talking about so, what we talk I mean, about end all, changes? Man? What's the end? Of? Well, well, I didn't I didn't know that I was doing my mind playing tricks on me for one. And for two, um, ain't nothing I can do about it now. The shit is over with. Bro, don't be dismissive right now. Look at Willie D. Look at Willie D. That man is so annoyed right now. Look at him. That man is annoyed than a mother effer right now. He don't want to hear that shit. That look on his face say, man, you full of shit. Yeah, the shit, the shit is over with. But the, 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 oh. the, end, the end all, the end all is for me to express to you how I felt about the shit you did. That's the end all. Did not, and you know what? Not just what I you did. did, but the Grammys did. The dudes that the did, shit that the, I did, Willie. So, this is what I'm saying. So you you don't th you so you don't see nothing wrong with going up on that stage and performing a ghetto boy song by yourself. You don't you don't see nothing wrong with that. Come on, Scarface. Don't start playing the victim, bro. Well, you already been playing the victim since the beginning of the interview. But I'm just saying, this shit getting on my nerves, bro. I know you better than that. I know you wills, and I refuse to look at you like you ain't a real ass dude because of this. You sound like an industry guy right now, bro. And Willie D trying to get you to keep it real. Like, like hold on, hold on, hold on. And we're talking about. We're talking about at the Grammys at, you know, for a 50-year tribute. Now, listen, listen to what I'm saying. First of all, let me, okay, let, yeah, let me all, say this. All my but, but let me get it's this all in, my But let me get right, this out the way. Now you in. Now, let Here we go with the gaslighting. No captivity. He about to turn up with the reverse psychology, y'all. I can see it coming. It's already here. This conversation is going downhill. Quick, fast, and a hurry. It's all my fault. No, I'm going to speak on it. I shouldn't have got, I shouldn't no, got on the plane. On. Let, I shouldn't let, have let, went to the Grammys. I shouldn't have got on stage. I shouldn't have rapped that song. I shouldn't have walked off stage. 
and I shouldn't have got back on the plane and came home. It's all my fault, bro. Okay. If you really? I'm gonna speak on this though. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna speak on it. So you ain't finished. I'm so I'm so fucking up, glad that they called me, Willie. I'm gonna speak on I'm it. I'm so glad that Quest reached out to me to do that motherfucking song, bro. I'm happy about that shit. I'm sure man. you Well, God damn, he's sticking his chest out now, ain't he? At least you're showing your true colors, bro. Damn. Oh. I'm I'm glad people got a chance to see me, man. Cause I'm, people don't really get the I'm chance. I'm sure you are. They don't really you get a chance to. Ass nigga. So that, I, you a selfish I, ass I, nigga, Willie. Really? So. You way more selfish than that. me. I would have never done enough shit like well, that. Well, I don't know, bro. It's about to get bad, man. I would have never, I would have, I would have never done no shit like that. The moment was too big, bro. The moment was too big. I would have never done nothing. And, 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 and let me say this. My but, let me, but let me say this, Brad. I don't give a... Let me say Let me tell you something. And let me finish. I really don't give a fuck about the Grammys. And I believe that. I believe Willie D don't give a damn about the Grammys. Because that's, that's the kind of guy he is. He don't give a damn. But he did give a damn about performing at a once-in-a-lifetime event, like a 50-year celebration, at a major award show, whether it was the Grammys, the American Music Awards, Billboard Awards, you name it. If it's a Ghetto Boy song on a platform like that, why not call your homeboy? That's all Willie D is trying to say. But Scarface's ego is standing in the way, dog. Can about none of them gatekeeping ass niggas. None of that shit that they do. <laughs> Willie D will expose the ass, won't he? What I care about is the ghetto boys. You yeah, know, like yeah. when we decided to do this podcast, I did this podcast for the for the sake of the brand. I didn't do it to say- I did it for the sake okay, of the brand Okay, also. so I didn't do the- Actually, it was my but, idea to do this shit. I, I understand. You to do it, this shit. It, it was your idea to do it, but I had to agree to it. So you didn't do it by yourself. That's what I'm so saying. So we doing, that's I was, why it's called Ghetto Boys, the though. Brand too. But that's why it's called Ghetto Boys. So okay. I said, so I said, okay, the reason why, I, I, had my, I had my own podcast shit going on already. It was already doing big numbers. So, right. so, so I, I, it took me, I built that brand. I built the, the podcast brand with, with, Willie, with Willie D Live. I built that. And Dope. so when, when we decided we was going to bring this, do this right here, True. I brought my audience like over here like this. Damn show sure did. Willie D been in the YouTube space doing this thing for a little minute now. I'm talking about on well-known platforms that already had a million subscribers, over a million subscribers. Willie D himself, before he even formed this podcast, Ghetto Boys Reloaded with Scarface, he already had almost a million subscribers on his channel. Willie D live. He ain't lying, y'all. No captivity. So my thing was like, let's break, let's grow this thing and keep keep our brand going, keep it strong, keep it alive, keep it going. You didn't have to do this, I didn't have to do this, but I did it for the brand. You say you did it for the brand, I take your word. But look, the thing is this: in that situation where you have a 50-year tribute to hip hop, you should have done it for the brand. And I truly believe in my heart, Scarface know that. You should have said, you know what? If y'all ain't gonna fuck with Will, I ain't fucking with it. If, it ain't, if Willie ain't coming, I'm not coming. If they'd have called me and the roles were reversed, I don't give a fuck what, what my level of success was as a solo artist. It's, it's the principle. I would not have done it without you. I would not move like that without you. That I wouldn't go that far. Now, this is the Grammys, right? And this is, like you said, Willie D, this is a once-in-a-lifetime situation, so you can't do him like that now. But what he should have did was call your ass. That's what he should have did. Now, you were right about that. But as far as telling him he shouldn't have did it at all, I think you're going a little bit too far with that. I understand your pain, but I wouldn't go that far. Well, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't in all honesty, I didn't really feel like it was that fucking important. It, but for, was it, I'm was just it saying, listen, enough? listen to what I'm saying. I didn't really feel like it was that important for whoever did the motherfucker. I don't, I don't, it's not a big deal to me. It's been, it's been times and like, do you remember the last time you did, um, when, when we was supposed, when you did the, um, the, uh, dome, the rodeo, I didn't do that. Oh, you know what? Yeah. But you had that choice. Yeah, I didn't you do had it. A cho it was your choice. I didn't, I didn't do it. It was your choice. Okay. Scarface, the rodeo. You comparing the Grammys 50 year hip hop celebration to a rodeo show? Come on, Scarface, dog. Don't do that, man. Don't do that. Now you're trying to man intelligence. All you're doing is making it worse. I hope it don't get uglier than this. This one here for the thug. For the thug. You, well, you you decided well, that you, it, it you, was, it was, you didn't do it because you didn't want to do but it. But you did it. You was given a choice. But you did it. I did it because I, I was given a choice. We we communicate. Remember, from day one when we find when you found out, I found out. We got on the phone and we communicated. Okay. So we didn't do right. that with this. Now, that, now, that was now. a big moment. No, that was, that was a big moment. But that was the, the Grammys. No, the Grammys that is, was the, a big the, moment, Grammys really. is the biggest moment in music history. The, the, that was a every, big, every that year. Was a big, That's the biggest. That was moment. a big moment, Willie. And I didn't do that moment. Because you didn't you. want to. Okay. 
Because you didn't want to. But you didn't give me a, But I didn't but have a choice. Didn't, if they didn't call you, what would you want? What you want me to do? You supposed to call him, bro? Why you keep saying that? And you gaslighting on top of that. You got your hand up like you ain't did nothing wrong. That ain't right. I'm with Willie D on that. So you wouldn't stand up for your dog? Why, 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 why they, why they got the comment? Why they got the comment? Uh, uh, really? I told you to do the fucking show. I what you talking you about? I couldn't do it. You didn't say you couldn't do it. You said you wouldn't do it. Okay, well, I, I couldn't. That's a difference. Wouldn't. Okay, wouldn't do it. <laughs> That's, That's a that difference. But you did it. Come on, bro. You really it's try the same to, thing. That's a false equivalency, bro. Come okay, on, sure, man. You know that. All right, all right. You ain't stupid. You know this shit, bro. I can't say that it's Come on, man. You know that, bro. It's the same fucking thing. Come on, man. You know that's if not. I, if, if Face you ain't going to do it, I ain't going to do it. was given a choice, bro. If Face say he ain't going to do it. But you know what you could have done if you felt some kind of way about me yeah, doing it because you didn't want to do it? You know what you could have done? You could have voiced your opinion and said, Will, I don't think you should fuck with it in the name of the brand. I don't think you should do it. So I'm saying, if we're going to be on the same page, we ghetto boys, if we ghetto boys, it's ghetto boys. You know, like, yeah, you got your own shit going in your own right. In your own right. You did a great job for yourself as a solo artist. Well, you did a you great, did a great job, you, but, too, but, but listen to what I'm saying. But as I'm saying, like, you did your shit, I did my shit. You know what I'm saying? Your name is strong in, 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 for what you do. My, my shit is strong for what I do. You know what I'm saying? Neither of us need each other, but when we come together, we're more powerful. That's right. We know that. I'm, I'm in we know the Ghetto that, Boys, really? we know that the Ghetto Boys brand is more powerful. No, neither one of us, no matter how much success we've attained all these years, neither one of us this is bigger the than the brand. Has to be and, 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 the, and, 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 and the fact. And I did not go out on television and shit on this brand, okay? I didn't shit on it. I represented it. And if you feel like it was supposed to be Ghetto Boys, then we'll address that. But how Nobody said you shitted on the brand, dog. Nobody said that. I seen your performance. You actually did a good job. Nobody's saying that, but you're twisting it. You're kind of twisting it, Scarface. You're moving the goalposts, bro. I hate to say it. You my boy, but you're moving the goalposts, dog. Can you not feel like it was supposed to be Ghetto Boys if you do a Ghetto Boys song on the grand, you know, on on stage at at the on the biggest platform in music? How can you not feel like it's a Ghetto Boys moment? So now you reverse everything back to me. It's, 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 not the, it's not that the Grammys didn't call you to do it. It's that they called me to do it. It's and the, I understand. It's, it's, I get it. It's, it's, wow. This dude's ego is out of control, y'all. This man ego out of control. Is it just me? Y'all know what to do when this video over with. Leave it in the comment section. Don't hesitate, because I'm damn sure going to be in the comment section. And the way he leaning back, Willie D, you doing a great job with holding your composure, bro. I probably would have been lost it by now, to be honest with you. No, it's that we didn't do it. I don't give a fuck who they call. It's yeah. that we didn't do it together. Okay. It don't matter who they call, Brad. Yeah. If they call me, you going to know. If they called you, I should have known. Bottom line. Well. That's the point. Okay. Okay. So I take full responsibility. You know what? It shouldn't even take that long. This 15, 20 minute discussion should have been a two minute discussion. But this is why conversations always get derailed, always go down the wrong road. The person that was in the wrong doesn't want to hold themselves accountable for the fear of looking bad, right? Especially, okay, I understand Scarface, he got the cameras on him. He know this show is streaming. He trying to save face, right? But bruh, sometimes the L for you is a win for the team. Bars. You know, when I when I made that video, bro, I made the video because like I don't even feel comfortable like having these type of uh, this type of discussion with you to them because I know a lot of them don't give a fuck about you or me. They just talk shit. Uh oh, will the defense take off now? They got a few seconds to think about what they want to what they think about what we're talking about, and they and that's it. And they gone, and they they drop a bomb, and they just turn their back, and they don't give a fuck what happened after that. They don't care how what happened with our relationship. They don't give a fuck about ghetto boys like that. They're not they're not invested like that. So when a motherfucker say something like, well, you know, I didn't see it being such a big deal that he wasn't on stage or whatever. Scarface represented whatever. That's because your motherfucking ass ain't put 33 years in the game. You know, you ain't set up in the motherfucking studio writing songs and 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 thinking of, and, and 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 stressing over shit and beefing and, and bumping heads with with with, with motherfuckers that, that's in your in your band. You ain't been on the road when the motherfucking bro bus broke down. You know what I'm saying? You ain't been in mother. You you didn't go to motherfucking New York for the first time and got booed and then have to come back and build yourself all the way back up and come back and sell out Madison Square Garden. You ain't have to do none of that. You ain't went through none of that. You know what I'm saying? So you don't know the journey. You ain't part of the journey. You ain't got the blood, sweat, and the tears and the work in. So you don't have as much invested in this shit as I have in it. And other people who were who were not represented right 
in that mm-hmm. Grammy situation. See, what Willie D's saying to y'all is, and to Scarface, nobody else outside of their camp really matter when it comes to important decisions like that. The people who deserve the most respect is the people in the inner circle, the people that built this thing up from the ground up. That's what he's saying. He don't give a damn about some executive calling him. He don't give a damn about the viewers that's watching his show and their opinions. No. All he care about right now and what hurt him is his dog, Scarface, not calling him and having enough respect to include him, at least on filling him in to the fact that he was about to perform a Ghetto Boy song at probably one of the biggest, if not the biggest, Biggest show for hip hop and rap music, period. It's the Grammys. It's like the Oscars of music, right? That's what it is. What they should have done uh, for that moment, they should have not have done it because you cannot represent 50 years of hip hop in 14 minutes. You can't. I watched the replay, right? And I could pretty much say the whole show, I was like, what happened to him? What happened to her? What happened to such and such, right? Some of my favorite rappers wasn't even on the show. And that's what happens when you try to fit in 50 years of music into a small segment of a show. You can't do it, bro. I'm kind of agreeing with Willie D on this one here. That shit should have been on its own platform. Fuck the Grammys. The Grammys ain't big enough to hold hip hop. Hip hop is bigger than the Grammys. No cow. It's way bigger than the Grammys. I, I, I'm going to agree with you on that. They should not have done I'm, that I'm shit. I'm going to agree with you. You know, if you're that, not going to do that, it right. That, hip t- that hip-hop in 14 minutes or 12 minutes or however long it was, like, it, it needs way more time. That's real. But what I, what, I, what, what, I, what I wouldn't do is be upset because you wouldn't know it. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't be upset. With, 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 is, is De La Soul upset at Paz? I don't. Nah, nah, nah. Now, Scarface, you can't tell that man how to feel. And then you want to throw some other groups in it? Who gives a damn about De La Soul or any other group that matter? We talking about the Ghetto Boys right now. Oh, I haven't talked to him. Okay, well, is Wu-Tang Clan upset at Method Man? I don't know. I haven't okay, talked to him. Well, don't be upset at me for going I, I, up I there, Willie. But this, 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 be but upset this at is, the Grammys. But this is but, us. But, this is us. Okay, okay. I, I don't know what's going on with Andre and 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 Big Boy. I don't know what's going on with Paz and all these guys. All you know is Price. what's going on. I know with what's us. going on with us. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? And then I just so said, I, don't know I just how they said, feel. I just said, I take full responsibility for going up there and representing this brand. So y'all heard exactly what I heard. What y'all think? Scarface was trying to plead his case, but he sounded real suspect to me. Like he just didn't want to be wrong. And you could tell Willie D is very serious about the loyalty and respect that should have been shown to him. These guys been through a lot together. If y'all know anything about Bushwick Bill, his girlfriend shot his eye out as they was wrestling over a gun. And he lost his eye. And they did a whole album cover with them visiting him in the hospital. They got a lot of history, bro. These guys been going since the mid-80s. And I can truly say they are a real star staple in music history, not rap history or hip hop history, music history. Not just Scarface, Willie D and Bushwick Bill. But some of y'all may not know these guys, but I grew up on these guys. And y'all know I got to bring out a scripture for y'all. And it's coming from Proverbs 18 and 24. A man that hath friends show himself friendly. And there was a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. And this is what Willie D was expecting out of you, Scarface. No captivity. But nevertheless, this does not erase all of the historic moments that these guys have shared and accomplished with the world. Ghetto Boys, one of the best groups in history. I said it. But where do we go from here, though? Well, we all know that they ain't gonna fall out about something like this. Kudos to Willie D for keeping his cool and his composure. He was expecting a little more out of his homeboy, but it seemed like they came to a sort of a peaceful resolve in the end. What y'all think? Leave it in the comment section. But I'm gonna ask this question one last time. Can you trust people? People with ego problems. Can you? Boy, that ego is a very dangerous thing. It can break up long-time relationships. This is why it's very important to stay humble, to stay grounded, especially with the people you started out with, the people that was grinding with you from the beginning. You don't want to lose them people. Trust me. Trust me. Because down the line, those are the people that you really can depend on in the end. Real talk. This one here for the thug. But I want to thank my dog, A-Rab, for giving me this story. It's very much appreciated, my boy. And I also want to thank Bar None for contributing to my channel. I really appreciate it, my boy. Real talk. You know what it is. And if you haven't contributed and you would like to, please leave it to my cash app at dollar sign freezy1976. That's dollar sign freezy1976. You're going to get a shout out every time. You ain't got to worry about me leaving you out. <laughs> 
And also, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to my channel, No Captivity with Freezy. No Captivity! And make sure you hit that notification bell as well, so you can get all the latest updates that I post. And like I always say, y'all, to free yourself, you must heal yourself. And until the next time, we out of here! No captivity. Freezy, freezy, freezy.